relegation scrap in the Premier League has cranked up a notch this past weekend as all the teams in the drop zone picked up defeats. And what about Everton? Can they actually go down? We'll take a little look next. number 29 over in the Premier League and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe to keep you back up to date. All things Premier League related, Bob and Rose related, world football related. We've got all here, boys. Under one rooski. Of course, the title race is still on uh, with, of course, Manchester City now six points clear over Liverpool. But, of course, Liverpool have a game in hand and, of course, they've got to take on Manchester City in the process. But what about, of course, the race for the drop? Uh, that's right, all teams in the bottom three lost, including Everton, who are in fourth and Leeds in fifth. Of course, a bit of a gap opening up between, of course, the bottom five sides and the rest. We'll take a look at it, all of it, in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs. Of course, the other patrons, guys. Thank you for loving, of course. Uh, but if you are new, check out the links down below. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. And also, make sure you smash the subscribe. So here we go, then. Of course, looking back at uh, the past weekend's action before we kick on forward to a bumper episode. Of course, Premier League action, of course. So let's get in the deep end. And I'll look at the results. Here they come. Newcastle, big win for them. 2-1 winners over Brighton. I want the two to win myself. Wolves, of course, got a bit of a, 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 a telling off, really, from uh, Vieira's boys. 2-0 win for them. Uh, on the road as well. Of course, where are they now? Palace on the move. They're up to 10th at the table. Fantastic season they're having. I um, mean, well, Watford ran them close though, didn't they? 3-2 loss to Arsenal. Oh, with a 2-0 winner in the end. Norwich picked up a loss against Brentford. Big win for Brentford, of course. And of course, putting Norwich in a bit of trouble. 3-1 loss in the end. Burnley got beat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they lost 4-0 to Chelsea. Happy days about that. Spurs, of course. 5-0 drubbing of Everton. Of course, watched that last night. Uh, or yesterday, anyway. 5-0 win for Spurs. Villa uh, did a monster favour as well for themselves. 4-0 win over Southampton. I with a 2-1 win myself. Leicester City uh, stopped Jesse Marsh's debut from being something special with a 1-0 win for Leicester City. Manchester City, of course, de uh, de destroyed Manchester United, who, of course, didn't really bother to do anything. And, of course, Liverpool, just the 1-0 win over West Ham. And let me count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. I've got seven out of ten there, guys. Not too shabby. Look at the table then, shall we? Of course, kicking off forward at the top. It is a Manchester City. Of six points clear of Liverpool at the moment. Again, like I said before, game in hand for Liverpool. And, of course, they do have to play each other as well. The rest of the top four is still on at the moment. I think uh, yeah, City, Liverpool, Chelsea will be in that top three. Of course, the top two will be decided. The fourth spot is wide open. Arsenal, of course, games in hand over Manchester United. Uh, of course, and they could... They could if they win all their... If they, well, if they win their games in hand, they'll break away from Manchester United. And the Chelsea back. Spurs also got to keep couple of games in hand. Uh, so I'd see realistically 7th and up are competing for that remaining 4th spot and Arsenal are in the driving seat. Down the foot of the table though it is Norwich it is Watford, it is Burnley, they are going to go down uh, well, at the moment of course. Everton Leeds are in that discussion as well. I'd say from what I've looked on the, on the resumes, uh, who's got what left. It's Leeds downwards are in trouble but of course we'll see how it all pans out. Hey. So Darren Manuel and Robert there at the Hornet with their uh, of course great numbers, impressive numbers. I held my hand up. Uh, let's take a look at the mini leaderboard. Of course, you should come back, of course, next time around. Of course, maybe at the start of the season, you could be in the mix. Uh, but there he is, uh, Darren Emmanuel. He's in actually in 20th spot, so well done to him. He's, he's, he's doing numbers. He's doing bits. Even the same, though, is leading. 47 points at the board. And Master Fighter is up there with hands worst in the power three. Let's take a look at, of course, the next round of matches. Uh, Cutley 4 slash Premier League. So here we go. These are, that's where you do it. Free to enter. Good bit of name. And, of course... You get time stamped. You can, you, we can spot the cheaters, so don't go cheating. Uh, so here we go then, kicking off all with the Premier League. Uh, and these are the games coming at you. There's a bumper list, of course, coming at you from Thursday. So make sure you get in amongst it as well. So we'll jump to the deep end with Wolves. They're going to be taking on Watford in the Battle of the W's, taking place on Thursday, March the 10th. Now, these two sides are pleasure 34 times in 1993, 11 wins apiece and 12 draws, of course. Wolves, though, losing three in the bounce, 33% form. And because of Watford side, just one win is six for them, 25% form for them at the moment. Of course, that's around, though, in Molyneux. was a 2 0 win for Wolves back in uh, uh, September 2000. 19 to the win it was. Meanwhile, last time picture, though, of course, was at Vicarage Road. It was a 2 0 win for Wolves back in September. Wolves picking up, of course, a 2 0 loss to Crystal Palace and Watford narrowly losing to Arsenal over at Vicarage Road as well. Looking at the odds right here, and now 5 4 on is your Wolves. 1 5 is your draw. 54 is your draw. Will Watford fight on? Of course, I don't think so. 1 0 win for Wolves. Scrappy, but just enough in the end. Next, of course, we have Leeds United up, up against, of course, Aston Villa uh, over at Ellen Road. Jesse Marsh's home debut. Uh, played you 31 times in 1984. 10 wins apiece and 11 draws, uh, of course. Leeds, they were there winning at least six games. In fact, they 
They haven't won in the last seven games, losing six on the bounce. Sorry, five on the bounce. 8% form for them right now. Because Aston Villa side picking up back-to-back -back wins for them. 58% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, at, uh, at Ellen Road was a one-and-win for uh, Aston Villa. That's back in February 2021. The reverse fixture at Villa Park back in, of course, uh, February. Not too long ago, actually. It was a 3-3 draw uh, in the end. Of course, last time the home side won was when Villa beat Leeds in the Championship back in, of course, April 2018. It was a one-and-win for Villa, uh, of course. Leeds, though, picking up a one-and-win loss against Leicester. Uh, they haven't scored in the last three games. That could, could be a major, major hurdle for them. As for Aston Villa, back-to-back -back wins for them. And back-to-back um, -back clean sheets as well. Scoring six goals with that return. Looking at the odds right here right now. 70 to 10 is your leads. 5 to 2 is your draw. And 6 to 4 is your away win. That's Aston Villa. Going to go with a draw here. Of course, Jesse Mars debut at home. Taking a point in the bag. Big point as well. Meanwhile, Southampton up against Newcastle. Of course, Southampton new in AOK. -OK. Newcastle are on the climb. In fact, Newcastle will probably be the form team at the moment. Played to the 43 times. Since 1993, 75, uh, 16 wins for Southampton. 18 wins for Newcastle. And nine draws, of course. Southampton, though, just one defeat past six. 75% form. Up against the Newcastle side. Unbeaten in the last seven games. Of course, picking up five wins in the last six. 92% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, at St. Mary's was a 2 win for Southampton. That's back in November 2020. The reverse fixture over at St. James's Park was a 2 2 draw back in August the 28th. Big day in my house, of course. Big day for me. 2-2 uh, it was in the end. Of course, Southampton picking up a 4-0 loss against Villa, though. And, of course, uh, uh, that was last time around. Newcastle picking up a 2-1 win over Brighton. The odds right here right now is even steam. So Southampton 11-4 is drawn 5-2. Is your away win. It is Newcastle on this. Going to go with a narrow 2-1 win for Southampton on this one. But it could go either way. So don't put your money on that one. And then, of course, it is Norwich City up against Chelsea. Uh, of course, it's the final game in the midweek. Of course, over at Cattle Road. Played to the 20 times in 1993. Two wins to Norwich. 40 wins to Chelsea. And we've got four draws, of course. Norwich still coming to this on five defeats in a row. 8% form for them right now uh, up against the Chelsea side just one defeat past six and 83% form for them at the moment of course last time around at Cattle Road it was a 3-2 win for Chelsea that's back in August 2019 the reverse fixture this season was a 7-1 win for Chelsea way back in October uh, of course Chelsea did uh, pick up a 4-0 win over Burnley last time around of course Brentford pick up a 3-1 win over Norwich last time around of course the odds right here right now 10-1 is your Norwich of course 10-3 on is your Chelsea and 50-4 is your draw back the Chelsea on this one 3-0 win for them to take the house so into the weekend we go now of course we're Brighton up against Lee in Liverpool of course coming at you the early kickoff on Saturday March the 12th now now, these two sides, of course, take place at the American Express Community Stadium. Played to the 11 times in 2011. One win for Brighton, eight was the Liverpool, and two draws. Just one win in the past six games, though, for Brighton right now. 17% form up against the Liverpool side, who, of course, have got a winning streak of 12 games in a row. 100% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, over in uh, at the Amex was a 1 1 draw. That was back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, though, at Anfield was a 2 2 draw back in October. Uh, Brighton picking up a 2 1 loss against Newcastle last time around. Liverpool picking up a 1 win over West Ham last time around. Of course, Liverpool are in action against International tonight. I'm recording this on Tuesday, the 8th of March. They're in action today. Uh, so that could uh, d d d mix it up a little bit for them in the league. Uh, of course, coming at you, though, the odds. Uh, Brighton 11-2 for the victory. 65 is your draw. 2-1 to one on is your Liverpool on this one. Going to go, with, of course, a Liverpool here. 2 to win for them on the road to keep the heat at the top of the table. Kicking on four, though, it is uh, Crystal Palace up against Manchester City. Locking horns. Uh, that'll be on Monday night, of course, on March the 14th. Now, these two sides have played each other, according to my eyes. 30 times since 1994. Six wins for Palace. 19 wins for City. And five draws uh, for the moment, of course. Five, uh, just one defeat past six for Crystal Palace. 67 form up against the Manchester City side of one five of the last six 83 percent form for them at the moment of course last around though in Palace was a two win for City that was back in May 2021 the reverse fixture though at the Etihad was a uh, of course back in October was a two win for Palace way back when oh, goodness gracious me meanwhile Palace pick up a two win over Wolves back to back wins for them meanwhile City pick up of course a win over United last around of course are they in action they are in action of course against Sporting Lisbon on Wednesday they should uh, comfortably go through that one as well kicking on forward though what are we looking at the odds right here right now of course City are actually seven two on for the victory of course Palace ten to one your long shot to four is your draw. Back to City here. Three new win for them as well on this one. Probably the game of the day, though, with, or the game of the weekend will be Arsenal. Uh, they're going to be taking on uh, Leicester to City, of course, at the uh, the uh, Emirates, of course. Played each other 32 times in 1994. 19 wins for Arsenal. Five wins for Leicester and eight draws, of course. Leicester uh, coming to this just one defeat past six for them. Meanwhile, Arsenal one defeat past six also for them. 75% for both, both both sides as well. Coming out to the last time around at the Emirates was a one win for Leicester. That's back in October 2020. The first fixture, though, in the King Powers, a 2 new win, of course, for Arsenal uh, when they took on Leicester on their own turf. Arsenal with a 3-2 win over Watford last round. Leicester with a 1-1 win over Leeds and coming to us on back-to-back -back clean sheets as well and three wins on the spin. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the odds right here right now. Arsenal coming at you, of course, 8-50-8 eight, uh, on for the Richie 65 is your draw and 5-1 to one is your long shots. That's, of course, Leicester to City. Going to go with a 2-1 win for Arsenal here. Uh, of course, keep up the heat at the top of the table and, of course, in the race for fourth spot. Next, of course, we have the Battle of the Bees. It's Brentford up against Burnley, of course, over at the Brentford Community Stadium. Now, these two sides have pleasure the four times in 2003. Four wins out of four for Burnley, of course. Nothing for Brentford and no draws as well. Just 
this one win, though. And the last six of Brentford right now, 25% form up against the Burnley side, who come into this on back-to-back -back defeats, 42% form for them uh, at the moment. Of course, last round, though, over in Brentford, it was a 3-1 win for Burnley. That was back in January 2016 in the Championship. Of course, they also played each other at Turdmore this season. Of course, back in October, it was a 3-1 win for the Freaks. Uh, of course, Brentford with a 3-1 over Norwich, though. Of course, Burnley did lose to Chelsea and haven't scored in back-to-back -back games uh, heading into this one. Looking at the odds right here, right now, taking place on, of course, Saturday as 11-10 on 11-10 is your Brentford. 11-5 is draw. 13-5 is your Burnley. Quite tight on this one. Going to back, of course, Brentford to take the win over the, the Freakazoids. That is Burnley. Next, of course, we have Chelsea up against Newcastle. Two formed teams at the moment. Of course, locking horns over at Stamford Bridge. Of course, that'll be on Sunday, March the 13th. Uh, of course, now these two sides have played each other 60 times in 1983. 33 wins to Chelsea, 50 wins to Newcastle, and of course, 12 draws, of course. Uh, Chelsea just won the feet past six of them. 83% form up against the Newcastle side, who are, of course, unbeaten in the last six. 92% uh, form, winning five in the last six as well. Kicking on four, though, last time around at Stamford Bridge was a 2 0 win for Chelsea. That was back in February 2021. Uh, of course, the reverse fixture, of course, at St. James's Park back in October was a 3 0 win for Chelsea as well. So Chelsea coming to this on the back of uh, three games, three wins over Newcastle, and three clean sheets as well. Uh, Newcastle, though, picking up a win against uh, Brighton last time around. They'll also pick up a loss against Southampton, though. Uh, Chelsea pick up a win against Burnley, of course, are in action. Also against Norwich City as well. So they'll also have a, a clean sheet on that. So there'll be two clean sheets heading into this one, according to my eyes anyway. Uh, the odds right here right now 10 to 3 on issue Chelsea, 50 to 4 is short, 11 to 1 issue long shots back to Chelsea here. 3 1 win for them, no clean sheet though. Uh, and uh, three points at the back for Chelsea. Kicking the force evident up against Wolves. Uh, of course, uh, Wolves are in double action for them as well this week. Play each other 15 times, these two sides. Six wins at Everton, four wins for Wolves, and five draws. Just two wins in the past six for Everton right now. They're in a bit of trouble, 33% form. Up against the Wolves side, also two wins in the past six, not including this game against Watford. 33% form for them at the moment. Of course, last around though, at Goodison Park, it was a one win for Everton. That was back in May. Uh, meanwhile, the reverse fixture though in Molyneux it was a 2 1 win for Wolves back in November. Uh, the odds right, I'll oh, we'll get to the odds in a minute. Well, Everton coming to this on the back of that 5 0 loss against uh, Spurs. Of course, Wolves. Wolves coming to this on the back of that 2-0 loss against Crystal Palace. They haven't scored in back-to-back -back games prior to the Watford game coming at you. Though. The odds right here right now, 13-10 is your host, 9-4 is your draw, 20-10 is your away win. That is, of course, Wolves. 1-1 one, one draw for me, point in the back for Everton. Maybe enough to keep them uh, out of trouble. Kicking off all it's Southampton, of course, double match week for them as well. Also double match week for Watford. Taking place at St. Mary's. Now these two sides have pleasure 24 times in 1999. 10 wins for Southampton, 8 for Watford and 6 draws, of course. Southampton, though, just one uh, defeat past 6. 75% form up against the Watford side. Just one win and 6 for them. So 25% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, at St. Mary's, it was a 2-1 win for St. Southampton. That was back in November 2019. The reverse fixture at Vicarage Road was back in October. It was a 1-1 win for Southampton as well. So, three wins on the spin for Southampton. In fact, they haven't lost to Watford in the last six in all venues and all occasions and all whatevers, uh, of course. Uh, looking forward to those. Southampton, of course, did pick up a loss against Aston Villa. They'll, of course, win against Newcastle, in my eyes. Uh, so, Watford, they did lose to Arsenal, of course, and also lose to Wolves heading into this one, according to me. Anyway, looking at the odds right here right now, Southampton 7-4 for the victory, 14-5 is your draw, and 90-4 is your way. Back the Saints here with another win, back-to-back -back wins for them, of course, maybe moving into the top half of the table. Uh, kicking off forward, a bit of a relegation crunch clash, it's Leeds, it is Norwich, it is at Ellen Road, and it's on Sunday, March the 13th. Now, these two sides have played 22 times since 1993, uh, nine wins to Leeds, eight wins to Norwich, and five draws, of course. Leeds, though, coming to this on the back of a five-game losing run, of course, in action against Aston Villa, they'll pick up a draw in my eyes. Up against Norwich, also in double action for them, uh, they're going to be taking on Chelsea midweek, but also locking horns here. Yeah, and both of these two sides, 8% form. Both of these sides, five losses on a row, uh, not including the midweek action uh, as well. Coming at you, though, uh, last round at Ellen Road was a 3-1 win for Norwich. That was, of course, back in uh, February 2019 in the Championship. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture at Cadder Road was a 2-1 win for Leeds United back in October. Uh, kicking on forward, though, the odds right here right now, 30-8 are on as your leads. Of course, they are favourites, 14-5 is your and 74 is your long shots on this one. Of course, Jesse Marsh, double week for him, double week at Leeds. Will he get the W here? Going to go with a win for him on this one. 1-1, one -one. One -one win for them on this one. Into the final two now, a couple of, oh, at least, yeah, Definitely a couple of crackers here. And we have a Man United up against, of course, Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, and Old Trafford. That's on Saturday. Late kickoff on uh, that badger. Of course, played each other 63 times in 1993. 42 wins for United. 10 wins for Spurs. And 11 draws, of course. Just one defeat in the past uh, six games for Manchester United. Uh, of course, 58% form. Up against the Spurs side. 1-3, lost 3 in the last six. 50% form for them at the moment. Um, of course, last time I played each other over at Old Trafford. It was a 6-1 win for Tottenham. Of course, that was back in October 2020. Uh, the reverse fixture, though, at the Fancy Fancy Stadium was a 3-0 win for United back in October. Coming at you, though, Man United picked, picked up a loss against Manchester City. Of course, Spurs with a 5-0 win over Everton. Uh, of course, Man United uh, are not in action uh, this week. I thought they were in action in the Champions League, but of course, I think that's waiting another week. Uh, so the next time they play each other will be, of course, on the 12th of March. Uh, look at the odds right here right now. Uh, United 21-20 for the Richie. 30-5 is your draw, and 23-10 is your way. We're quite tight this one. I think there's a goal in it. I'm going to go with Spurs. 3-2 win for them on this one. And then finally, wrap it up, wrap it up. It will be a West Ham United. Uh, they're going to be taking on Aston Villa in the Claret and Blue Derby. Uh, of course, play each other 46 times in 1993. 13 wins apiece and 20 draws as well. 
Uh, last time around. In fact, we'll get that in a minute. Uh, West Ham come to this on back to back defeats for them. 50% form for them right now. Up against that Savannah side, picking up three wins in the last six. 58% form for them. At the moment, of course, last time around, though, over at uh, West Ham Stadium was a 2 1 win for the Hammers. That was back in November 2020. Of course, the reverse fixture at Villa Park back in October was a 4 1 win for West Ham as well. West Ham winning three on the bounce against Aston Villa. Aston Villa's last win over West Ham in either home or away. You've got to go back to 2015. It was in the Premier League. Aston Villa picking up the one win over at Villa Park. Uh, Villa Park, I'm uh, sorry, Villa picking up a 4 win over As uh, for Southampton. Back to back clean sheets for them. Of course, West Ham picking up a loss against Liverpool last time round. Heading into this one. The odds right here right now. We've got 11 of 10 is your West Ham. 12 to 5 is your away win. And 23 to 10 is your draw. 2 1 win for me for the Hammers on this. That's it. That's the tweet. That's the stuff. Get in amongst it, of course. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Smash the button as well. And also head over here to get your picks in. Cutley for Premier League. It's free. Get in there. Get in amongst it. Get in a part of the process. Get a, get a your naming lights next weekend but that is it guys smash the thumbs up smash the subscribe of course check out links down below on twitter on twitch on facebook and also on patreon but until then dudes thanks for watching smash the subscribe i'll see you soon for the next one until then dudes we're done right now